but the real reason why I wanted to do this video was to just share with um, the YouTube community what a remarkable woman um, my aunt Sadie was and uh, the things that I know today, the, the, the woman that I am today, any grace, any um, class and elegance that I have is a direct result of her influence. Uh, I mean, definitely my mom's influence, definitely my grandmother's influence, but a lot of it uh, was based on her influence. My aunt was one of the most beautiful women I think I've ever seen the most beautiful, smooth, even chocolate skin that you could ever imagine. Uh, she never looked anywhere close to her age. Even, you know, the, the day of her death, you know, she, she didn't look 65 years old. She, she just never did. She was a woman of such class and such elegance and such style. Um, she was one of those hat wearing sisters and you know had the matching shoes and the matching purse and wore gloves and everything when we played dress up as little girls everything that we wanted to be like that's what my aunt was every day of her life and I remember being a little girl and we're just wanting so much to be like my aunt and even as an adult, wanting to be like my aunt. She taught us how, she told us how to walk, um, and she told us that we had to glide when we walk. And I, I list, I remember that, you know, when I feel myself kind of plodding along and, you know, not having that, that elegant uh, uh, gait that my aunt had, I, I remember her words, I, re I remember them. Um, she was just the epitome of excellence, the epitome of class, and you have no idea how much I miss her already. I think about her every day, um, and just the legacy that she left for me and for um, our family, and and as a result of her homegoing, I'm getting to know her in, in a different way because... Um, so many people, she touched so many lives. I knew that she was special to us and to our family, but she touched so, so, so many lives. Um, and just hearing the stories of, yes, I, you know, Miss, Mrs. King was my mentor. You know, she advocated for me in this situation. She spoke up for me. She told me how beautiful I was. She told me how handsome I was. She told me how smart I was. That was my aunt. I know she told us that every day. Um, and made us feel that, especially on days where we didn't feel that way. But she did that with everybody. Um, I was her executive princess. <laughs> and you know, I used to sort of laugh and giggle. I'm like, come on, Aunt Sadie. And she would say, what? Well, you are. And, you know, I just didn't realize how much that influenced me and how much that... Um, It made me believe in myself even when I didn't want to believe in myself. And I I cherish that and I hold on to that. And that's what gives me strength because these last two weeks have been so hard. And I wanted to come and talk to you about her because of that um, primarily, but also because I am convicted and convinced to take her legacy forward. Um, her love of children, her love of God, her love of anything that was elegant and sophisticated and and warm and loving and kind, that's who my aunt was. And I'm determined that her death is not in vain and that no one will ever forget her. So you'll be hearing more from me in the coming days regarding that. Uh, we're, we are establishing a memorial scholarship fund in her memory. And um, we're also going to do some signature events around that, which I'm really, really excited about. That's right up my alley, and, and I love that. And our long-term goal, well, actually, maybe more short to midterm goal, is to begin a school of etiquette because my aunt was the epitome of manners and of uh, etiquette and just knowing how to behave in polite society. And that is such a lost art. 
I just read an article today about raising gentlemen, uh, young boys to be gentlemen, and that's such a lost art in our society. And my aunt was just such a firm believer and advocate for children being raised properly, for them having all of the necessary tools that they need to succeed in life. And she believed that everyone could succeed. So that is the message, that is the legacy that I'm taking forward um, for her, especially for my young women, my young girls. That has always been my passion. And now I just feel like her spirit, her message, her ministry um, is supposed to live on through me. Please keep my family in your prayers. As I said, that was my mom's only sister. They were best friends. Um, they talked, you know, almost daily. They talked a lot. Um, and they talked about everything. My mother shared everything with her. And it's just been really hard for my mom. Also, um, clearly pray for her husband, my Uncle Leonard. He's been so wonderful during this time. But I know he's hurting. He misses his best friend as well. And um, pray for her children. She has two children, um, a daughter, Deirdre, who's, um, who's an attorney in the Raleigh area, my first cousin that I love, that's my girl, and my cousin Omar. Um, especially for Deirdre, she is almost six months pregnant, and this has just been devastating for her to not have her mom see her first grandchild born. So... I don't even know how I'm getting through this video without crying, but I just, once again, I just had to share with you. I just had to let you know that anything that you see in me is, is because of her and because of the influence she and my mother and my grandmother have had on my life. So please keep praying for my family. I will come back and share with you um, our future plans regarding the School of Etiquette and this Memorial Scholarship Fund. I love you all so much. Thank you and be blessed. Bye. Is, 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 is.